Brinko to tell you what is on tap. Mike. All right, Alan, Chris, thank you. Tony and Rodney are here. We'll have their first half analysis. Plus, we'll hear from Ezekiel Elliott, head of Sunday Night Football. The Cowboys open that beautiful new stadium in Los Angeles against the Rams. Also, the continued discussion on the social justice movement. We'll give you Tony's thoughts on what happened tonight. All coming up. Toyota Halftime is next. Want to stay up to date? Hey, Siri, show me football schedules. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places. Well, the offense isn't rusty. The champs had a 91-yard drive. In time to Sean Watson. Yeah, taking a seat next to Patrick Mahomes. They've been together a couple of times on this night. We'll talk about their moment of unity before the game in a little bit. Toyota halftime. Great to get the season started with Tony Dungy. Rodney Harrison joins us here in a second. Tyree Kill only one catch. But don't worry, there's plenty of other good things happening, including the rookie, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. What a difference maker. Yes, my big question going into the game, how was this Chiefs running game going to be without Damian Williams? Well, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire answered that question. And you know who he reminded me of? Mike Warwick Dunn, a Whoa. young back that I had short but able to run inside and outside. He's going to be a difference maker for this Chiefs offense. He's going to get Andy Reid feeling like, hey, I can run the football. Yeah, and for the Texans, I'm, I'm just, I look at them, and I think they have to do a better job of getting their guys involved. On the offensive end here in this second half, Rodney, I think you're right. When you look at the Texans, that one drive was good. The other one, they struggled a little bit. But what about the running back? When we saw David Johnson on the one drive that they scored, that was uh, what you wanted to see and what we got used to seeing from Johnson out in the desert a few years ago. Yeah, David Johnson was really the X factor, and we, we had questions like, if he could get going – they can have success tonight, and they gave him the ball early. They have to continue to give him the ball in the second half if they want to win. That's how they won in the regular season. They had a great time possession advantage in Kansas City week six last year. Sunday night, beautiful SoFi Stadium is going to open up. It's Cowboys-Rams Sunday night football. We welcome Jack Collinsworth to the team, and he's going to have a visit with the Cowboys star, Ezekiel Elliott. Zeke, where do, you, where do you feel like you got your speed from, from your mom or from your dad? I would say my mom. My dad would beg to differ, but... It's definitely my mom. <laughs> Elliot. Hurdle. He was a state champion hurdler. So, so how do you decide when it's time to hurdle somebody versus lower the shoulder? I don't know. It's more of like a instinct. If a certain guy likes to tackle low, and I, I'll know when I get that, that matchup one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I have an opportunity to maybe jump over him. But honestly, it's just to keep guys guessing. Looking forward to it. Jack and Zeke on Sunday Night Football, Football Night in America. First, Toyota reminds us in today's day, it's the day for you to check out their tough trucks. I just want to leave. What an incredible voice, 13-year-old Kedron Bryant. And we've heard the voices and seen the actions of a lot of young players, veteran players, cleats, T-shirts, you name it. This whole social justice conversation, which has been topic one in the offseason after COVID, will continue through the season. Chiefs were out there for the anthem. Texans players stayed in the locker room. And then just before kickoff, the two sides coming together for a moment of unity at midfield. We saw one player take a knee, Tony. There's going to be conversations throughout this weekend of what the actions are of the players. But as you saw tonight play out, what impression did you get? Well, I thought that moment of unity at the uh, before the kickoff really was important. And it said a lot because it was the players who decided, let's do this. And what they were saying was, hey, we've got some guys kneeling. We've got some guys standing in the locker room, mm -hmm. some guys standing. But we're all together on this. And we can come together and make a difference going forward. We watched uh, together that powerful video that the Miami Dolphins put together. There's going to be a lot of conversation, different conversations. But what should we be looking at this weekend? You're going to have a lot of players, as the Dolphins did, talking about next steps and action. Uh, it's great. It's great to protest. It's great to have slogans. It's great for all that. But 
What are we going to do to make it better? What we need now is action and solutions. And some of the players want to be a part of that, too. Absolutely do. Conversation has begun. It's going to continue. So, too, with the football. Second half coming up from Kansas City. The champs with a very good first half start. They get the ball to start the third. He'll be without Chris and Michelle from KC right after this. This has been the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places.